So welcome to our section on planets, asteroids and comets. And this section is going to be led by me and ably assisted by Brad, just like the last section. A course on planets could very easily be a course on fun facts. Lots of memorization. It could be, here are 10 fun facts about Venus and 7 fun facts about Jupiter and 47 fun facts about the Moon. There's no fun facts about Mercury. Though, no, so Mercury okay. is boring. Uh, <laughs> but we're not going to do that. Instead of just giving you lists of facts about the things which uh, would be very interesting for any of us, we're going to focus on why the solar system is the way it is. Why are some planets similar, some are different? How did it originate? Where did it all come from? Now look, I guess in our solar system, right, the sun makes up such a big part of it. Isn't all of the planets and asteroid comets so small that it's going to be a relatively short course? Well, I mean, yes, the sun is a lot bigger than any of the planets, a lot, lot bigger than any of the planets. But we, we care about planets not because they're big, well, I guess we live on one. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty important. Uh, and if we're going to travel anywhere in space and walk in any other bodies, it's not going to be a sun, it's going to be a planet or maybe an asteroid or possibly a comet. So we can actually send space probes to these things like, unlike anything else. And look, uh, you know, speaking of asteroids, you know, hey, one wiped out the dinosaur, so paying attention because they can kill us. Okay, and... You should always pay attention to things that can kill you. <laughs> That's right, and we can also get money from them, right? We can potentially mine asteroids for things. So, all right, there's a lot of interest in some of these things, for self-interest at least. Okay, so hopefully it persuades you that these are, uh, despite being so pathetically small, they are actually interesting because self-interest. And the best reason of all, there are lots of glorious, beautiful images of these things that we can share there with really you. There really are, there really are. Share with you in the course. Now we're going to start off with talking about how planets were originally discovered and the historical observations. And then we're going to go on to comparative planetology. So jumping backwards and forwards between different planets and moons and trying to explain why they are similar or different in, for example, their geology and their climates and their weather. And then we're going to spend a little bit of time on some of the smaller things in the solar system, the asteroids, things like objects like Kuiper Belt, those things beyond Neptune, and those things you love, right, Paul? Yes, so comets, uh, my particular babies. And then we'll finish off by talking about is there life in our solar system and the prospects for colonizing our solar system. So despite being, I guess, small in stature, they're very interesting and large, so there's a lot to cover in this course.